holidays everybody this is Monica I'm gonna be making a soda pop candy bouquet with my favorite beverage a diet coke and it just happens to be her favorite as well I'm making this for a co-worker whose birthday is tomorrow this is the base the soda pop because she will be drinking it this is going to be an unopened soda and a small cup. It says these are for 8.5 fluid ounces. It's those little foam cups that you use for like hot cocoa or coffee. You're gonna have to trim that cup down. It's gonna act as sort of like a floral foam. Get your glue gun, fire that puppy up, and I forgot that I have some glitter glue sticks. We move over here to all the pretty stuff. Any kind of ribbon that you wanna use, since I've got so much ribbon, I mean, I've got so many craft materials I could probably have my own store instead of calling it Joann's we could call it Monica's sparkly land of happiness so I've got some cloth ribbon there's some mesh and there's just all sorts of ribbon there for sure you want to get some curly ribbon I have mine already pre curled because I'm lazy so I just get mine at the dollar store and I usually have a stash of that which I did and I just happen to have the red and green colors these are going to actually fill in the holes as you're putting the candy on the top here you're going to be hot gluing little pieces of candy and then you're going to be sticking the curly ribbon wherever you have a little gap that you want to have some pizzazz and then of course you're going to need some candy i've got some pop rocks for a theme in particular that i'm going to have on top of the candy bouquet along with some snickers which is her favorite candy we've got some clear tape that you'll want for putting the candy onto the long toothpicks which will be going into the top of your foam and a pair of scissors. You're going to want to cut about less than half of the bottom por portion of the cup because it is too large for the drink that I'm using. Actually, you only need a little bit over two inches and then that is going to rest on the, the lip of your drink. It's just a little beveled edge right there and that's where your hot glue is going to be when you put the hot glue on the inside of this and then rest it on top of the drink. Put the glue gun, and I'm just gonna go and line the edge, which is gonna rest on the can. And you wanna give, give a nice solid line of glue. But then we're just going to rest it. Trying to get it as straight as possible. What I want to do first is use the, I'm not, I think I'm going to stick with the, the long toothpicks to actually tape to the backs of the pop rocks. You can also use packing tape if you have those large candy bars like if I was going to put um, I guess like a regular size snicker bar. I would want to take a large skewer and cut that in half and then put that on the back of the large candy bar. Since I'm working in miniature here, I don't have to worry about that too much. So I'm going to take about an inch of the toothpick to tape because really I want to have the control of um, depth. To start with the base first start from the bottom and work your way up and just wherever you've got a little gap either put a piece of candy if you have a space big enough for whatever candy that you're working with or you're going to want your curly ribbon cutting off little pieces sticking it in places that you might have a little gap
I think it might be cute for these sixlets to kind of have them up top sticking out. Be sure you don't burn yourself. Let me try that out. There's my finger. Since we've got the toothpicks in the toppers, which I'm using the Pop Rocks, you don't have to have the glue. You're just going to stick that into the foam cup and then maneuver those however you want to. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the big one. And you can adjust the height however you want to. These are Soda Pop Candy Bow Cut. Got all kinds of candy glued on there and stuck down in the top. And it's all over the back. Trying to keep from having any kind of holes in the candy and make it a little blingy with the ribbon. Because I had the Pop Rocks kind of going off to the sides, I needed it would have been nice to have one more package to come up in the center. But I just used a sprig of the holly and some more ribbon 